Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we're carrying on a Skarsnik campaign, and, uh, stuff's happening. Dwarf-related stuff. I know, what a shocker. Uh, but yeah, we've got Tretch here as well, though, so he's going to mix things up a bit, but mostly we're just trying to fight off the hordes of dwarfs, and I'd say things are going quite well on that front. I mean, a few more folks are heading towards Sylvania, but these two, these two guys, Crushagor, Spitter, and Spinny Backstabber, they wiped out Zufbar, and they've almost wiped out Karak Kadrin as well. They are doing a fine, fine job. Very proud of our boys over here. At some point, we will actually head to Karak Kadrin and take it back over. It'll just be the one stack left. Annoyingly, uh, Dreitcher is while well, she exists, and that's a pain for us. So we do have some problems. Also, I'm a little worried about our income, because I do have some trolls being recruited as well so um yeah i'm a little bit um a little bit worried what'll happen when i hit end turn but i'm gonna do it anyway yeah i am and of course of course uh tretch is attacking but we have two armies right next to it uh i'm gonna prioritize prior prioritize i don't know why i went a bit irish there i'm gonna prioritize the dwarves um sound like terry wogan terry wogan we're gonna fight the dwarves first but if Tretch is going to corner himself in a settlement, then it might be worth just uh, getting rid of him. Because it'll take him a lot longer to come back with with, uh, with armies. I think his empire is a little further away than uh, Karakazul, who's right there on our doorstep. In fact, this is his doorstep, so we'll see. Uh, so you go ahead and take that. Don't you worry, you can have it. Please move in. Damn, he didn't corner himself. Make it quick, has got wicked schemes to plot. And, uh, interesting, where Zag wants a peace treaty, which I'm totally fine with. I am totally fine with. Um, also, one thing that someone uh, pointed out, actually, uh, with uh, with Wurzag, is uh, he's a prophet, but he's trying to find, like, the chosen ones of Gork and Mork. And Skarsnik is one said chosen one. Uh, so maybe he's realising that that's the case and peacing out with us. Because uh, I'd forgotten what um, what Wurzag's task was exactly, but he was supposed to be the, their guide. Um... So, you know, I don't need a guide. He can sod off. I don't really care. Bye. Right. Speak your words and I'll decide if you lives or dies. And, of course, of course someone else declared war on us. I mean, why wouldn't someone else declare war on us? It's, it's weird that they haven't yet, honestly. This is my tribe. So talk. Oh, you too? Yeah, yeah, here we go. All right, sure. I mean, I'm... Yeah, I was going to say, I'm right there. Are you going to come get me? He is. He is going to come get me. Uh, I don't like his odds, though. I mean, river trolls are pretty good. Um, but I think just the sheer numbers that we've got, uh, trolls don't work out quite well against, like, gaggles of stuff. They can just surround, and then you've got, like, five guys stabbing at one troll. Um, all at once. Also, they don't do great against archers, and we have a, a fairly good smattering of them. So yeah, I think we're going to do okay. The stone trolls have a lot more armor, but we've got all the armor piercing. Yeah, I don't see any problems. Uh, except for the fact we've gone in with bonus versus infantry, of course. That is one thing. But we are going to fight this. I don't trust or to resolve not to kill squigs. There we go. Yep. Uh-huh. Fight it, we will. Alright. Very cool. I like it. I like this map style. I like all the, uh, the, uh, the the naturally formed lava lamps. That's what it is. Lava lamps out in the wild. So anyway, we got uh, these guys coming for us. But this is actually pretty great news for us. That we're in a uh, an underway map. Because it means we can actually... Should I just line them all up? Yeah, I think I'll just line them all up. Boop. Alright, you guys can move back a bit. And we're going to put you guys in the center. And, uh, yeah, I suppose you can go on either side. I mean, you can move forwards a bit. And do I want to charge them? It would certainly be quicker. So I might as well. Brilliant. You is gobbos. You're right. You're absolutely right. Black Orcs can be a bit of a pain. I think we might... And yeah, stopping pump wagons being a bit annoying, but actually we can probably get the uh, the squigs to bog them down a bit. So I think we'll be okay on that front. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to shoot at the black orcs first, even though it would be nice to shoot the trolls. 
Actually, you know what? I think the Blackhawks, with their melee defense, 31, I actually think we might have them with the Nasty Skelkers. I think the Nasty Skelkers might actually deal with them without too many problems. So... Snow Trolls. River Trolls. River Trolls. Brilliant. Okay, let's charge you out in a hurry. Alright. We've got the bonus versus large that we're going to get out of this as well. So that's good news. So, don't know why I'm hitting that one. I suppose I just might as well, right? And, of course, it's the fanatics that are going that way instead of the nasty skulkers. Of course it is. Right, let me click on you. boy. Alright, let's pull you out of that fight. Okay, now you can charge him. Okay, let's swap you guys. Good lads. I'd say we're doing okay. Oh, biggins are going to be a bit of a problem. So, let's lower their defences. Okay. Got some problems here, that's alright. They have more problems. And now we got problems again. <laughs> oh yeah, Black Oaks got dealt with. Excellent news. Alright, you keep chasing. Let's do the war. Warty time. Excellent. Well, well, let's get this Goblin Big Boss. And there we go, we got him. Uh, we do need to chase them down a little bit more if we're going to wipe them out, though, because it looks like we will need to wipe these guys out. Also, I, I have a feeling, didn't this guy have quite a good home province? I seem to remember there being resources that I wanted. I don't know if he had, like, gems or something. Did he have gems or something? I can't remember. We'll find out. Okay, yeah, we absolutely annihilated it. And we got five grand. Thank Christ for that. Also got a bully, though I don't really do a lot of sacking. Um, money or replenishment? I'm going to go replenishment, because I think we might not be in friendly territory. I can't exactly remember where we are. And war boss defeated. I suppose I'll just confederate, even though I want to kill him. Um, that way I just get the territory and I can carry on moving. Gorfang Rot Gut isn't exactly, um, you know, he's not a substantial addition. I never can ever recruit him. He's an orc. Like, he can, he can go away. Um, in fact, he's gone. Uh, okay, no, it didn't have anything. It didn't have anything. It didn't have anything at all. Uh, what do I want to get rid of? Uh, oh wow, I could recruit giants from there. That's fun. Um, get a lot of gobos from here too. I mean, the boss pole isn't a terrible idea to have here. I don't really want to get rid of any of these buildings, but I really do need to get rid of something. So I'll get rid of that. Our income is holding. Just. Just. So yeah, we're almost down here now. Okay. Dusty's ready, I don't care. Uh, raise. Or sack Fort Oberstire. You can get two and a half grand out of that, which is quite nice. Uh, we did upset everyone with the Confederation, though, didn't we? Yeah, other greenskins aren't going to like us as much, and control is going to be down. I don't think I have to worry too much about that, though. Uh, is this their last settlement? Yes, it is. Okay, do I wipe out Vlad while I'm here? Because that will be one less stack that could be thrown at us if I do that. Which I think is probably worth our time. Especially considering that we got more... Wow, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Belagar's here in force. Okay, I mean, well, Belagar's not here. Just a lot of truth-tellers. Um, but yeah, this is bad. <laughs> grim Tides. And, yeah, the Grim Tides, I think, what you call the... Um, you know, the vermin tide or green tide of dwarfs. It's it's the grim tide. Also, these guys are pushing up here too, which is annoying. What is it? I don't know, I guess they're all going to go a similar route, which might help. And we do have the war, of course. We do have our warmies to help. So that is something. 
Although, hang on a minute. That's weird. I, I feel like this army wasn't a part of this... That last battle. It must be because of the underway. Uh, interception battle. It's a weird one. Uh, gutter fighter. And for Nashrak, teeth robber. Need to rob some teeth, don't we? Uh, Gork will fix it. It's actually a useful spell. I don't know why I hadn't got it yet. Um... Okay, so there is... You know, I, I really am not sure if these guys are going to be particularly successful if they attack. We do have our Wami forming here as well, even though they're under siege, which is pretty cool. Yeah, I don't know. I think I might just have to... Can I get a little, I get a little quicker? I'm not sure I want to be in March stance in case something turns up. So okay, we're just going to move here. Hopefully we can get on top of them next turn. Uh, he's just besieging the place, and they have more armies forming. But look at this. Cazador, Dragon Slayer, the faction leader. He's turned up, and he's a fresh army. He's just recruiting whatever he can recruit. Which, as it turns out, isn't that much. Um, so I can't reach this jerk. I don't think I need to, though. Can I reach this jerk? No, no, I can. You're right there, mate. Uh, we don't have much of the way of armor piercing. Although I guess between us we do have nine nasty skulkers. And the sheer numbers of everything else, it isn't too, too bad. Or is it? Might be terrible. Might be awful. Uh, we'll see. Also, these guys are on the way. Oh my god. Brutal. Brutal numbers we're dealing with here. Uh, but we got this guy who might be able to deal with Thorgrim. He says no. Hmm. Alright, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to head over here to Castle Templehof. Okay, that's where Vlad is. So we can actually just take that happily, apparently. So I will. Nice. So this, uh, do I want to raise it or sack it or what? Uh, I think I might raise it. I think I might raise it actually. I would love to sack it. You know what? I get more money if I loot and occupy, so I'm just going to loot and occupy. And we are going to build a garrison there. I don't know if it's going to do much for us. Uh, that makes goblins cheaper. But it costs a fortune, so I'm not sure that will really help me much. Uh, okay. That'll do. Feel good about this. Alright, see if someone attacks us. They might not. They might. Audible smell. That sounds perfect. We get bag battering. Sounded more dwarven than uh, <laughs> than anything else. Then, my bad. Close, but no cigar. Uh, Eshen. I don't think we necessarily want to upgrade Eshen. Spinny backstabber. Kind of needs to contend with this nonsense, which actually makes coming up here to finish these jerks off a little bit more difficult, doesn't it? Looks like Dreich has been spreading across here as well. She's. Uh, oh yeah, there she is. And, oh, can you seriously not go there from there? That's weird. Why is that? I had Gormog in Karakango, and then he moved to there via the Underway. It's weird that he can't suddenly move back, so I don't know what slowed him down. Feels a bit weird. Oh well. He'll be in range. Hopefully that's enough. Uh, and you are actually looking in pretty good shape right now. And I know, it's it's all nasty skelkers, but that's what we need to kill these ridiculous armies of dwarfs. We need nothing but nasty skelkers, and we've got them. Ooh, Helmet Discord might be useful for you. Might as well, eh? Talisman of Preservation is useful for somebody. I mean, ideally, I want to put on someone who's earned the Arachnorok spider mount. Um... Which one? Let's put it on... You know what, I'm not going to put it on Crusher Gore Spitter, because they have uh, the Seed of Rebirth, which I really like. I think replenishing health is probably more interesting than just not taking it in the first place. Okay, where are we? Talisman of Preservation. Marvellous. 
And I can give you an enchanted item as well. Uh, terrifying Mask of E. No point, really. Oh, Potion of Toughness. Yeah, you can have healing as well now. Brilliant. Okay, any armor? Charm shield. That'll do. Brilliant. Okay, now I need to work out what I'm doing with these jerks. Um, I mean, this is a lot. We do have the Wamis forming, which is helping. It does shore up our numbers. But I still don't like to split up. I'd like to be able to use the Wami so I can have overwhelming numbers. Oh, look at this jerk. Hmm. It's a tough one. It's a tough one. God, look at all these agents bickering here. There's a bunch of elves and skaven just... I screw each other over. Alright, so I can chase this guy down. Supposedly works. Okay. He's probably just going to back off, and then these guys are going to join the fight. Hello? Maybe that will happen, and that sounds cool. Let's, let's just go for it. Screw it. He might be willing to fight, because he's a... Um, oh, come, come on. What are you playing at? Yeah, yeah, he's willing to fight. I was going to say, he might be willing to fight, because he's a uh, invasion army, and they tend to be way more inclined to actually fight. Which is really, really nice. I think it's a great touch. I think if they all played, uh, like, Koi, this massive invasion force, you know, they invade, you go, okay, let's do this. They go, oh, no, please. I don't, I'd rather not. It's like, no, you, you are invading. Like, you know. So I, I think it's good that they do seem more aggressive. They do seem more willing to meet you in the battlefield. It's what they're here for. So it feels, uh, feels appropriate, even if it's not in their best interest to fight, you know, a sort of, uh, almost a three stack this one. Alright, let's shove these under AI control and see how we're doing. This is a fun army to control. And we've got our uh, De Biggin, the rogue idol. So I really want to see him in combat. Haven't had one of those in ages. Alright, <laughs> here he is. How cool is that? Very, very cool. Very cool indeed. I love all the little, uh, little extra bits, all the little shields dotted around him. It's very cool. Very, very cool. Also, he's made out of dung, which is very funny. So, what is the plan here? Do I want to wait for reinforcements? Do I want to deploy over here so he comes to me? I mean, we're attacking them. So we really do need to get on top of this stuff. They've kind of got a bit of a wall defending their back line with their backest line. Because you can't run through all the artillery. Um, okay, we can deploy back here. Which would certainly help. So I think that's what we're going to do. Oh, hang on. Can we? Oh, we can. That's just a mountain, apparently. Yeah, can't deploy on this slope. All right. Alright, that's how you want to play this. That's fine. I'll just take a second of maneuver you. Alright. Let's see. What's their biggest range thing? Oh, the cannons have, like, all the range. So, uh, let's just go ahead and deploy back here. So they have to shoot through the trees. Because, yeah, they're not going to have to do much there. Brilliant. And I think we might have to wait for these guys to show up. Before we could do much. They might just shoot at our wolves, though. Can I get them back here? Not anywhere in cover. And uh, they can't stalk. I'll keep them in there for now. And I'll keep these guys over here. Cool. Alright. Let's wait for reinforcements to show up. And then we'll start pushing on in. So they are trying to shimmy a little bit. Which is good to see. Okay, you guys can line up. Yeah, awful lot of scary folk in here. Okay, it's gonna take a full minute. And okay, it looks like uh, looks like he's actually got quite a good throwing arm. Let's go for the iron breakers. Let's see him go. All right, come on. Whoop. Hell of a throwing arm, this guy. Nice. 
Very nice. And yeah, I don't see them shooting through these trees at all. Really good way to soften these guys up, that's for sure. Very nice. Okay, let's speed things up a bit. Alright, killed another handful. Uh, I'm not seeing anything get hit here. Okay, bunch of reinforcements here. And it's time to move forward. Yeah, you're gonna kill him. Okay. Groups are locked. Let's get the doggos in. Let's get you guys in as well. All the artillery we dealt with very shortly, I'm sure. Okay, I don't like having to go against the slayers here. But uh, I might have to. We've got the teeth robbers. Alright, let's move you up and around. Okay, excellent. Uh, these do count as large. Yes, they do. I say, hang on, are, are the wolves actually small? No, no they're not. Let's just avoid the slayers entirely. Might as well, eh? Might as well. Okay. Let's keep on moving. There's Iron Breakers. Have you push on in? Okay. Let's keep moving. Alright, Teeth Robbers are uh, in a bit of a bind. That is fine. Don't you worry about that. Okay, let's get slow the Slayers down. Let's take them for a walk. Okay, come on, boys. Still need to handle them, though. And Teeth Robbers are almost all dead. Nice. Alright, where are my doggos? Okay, up and around, please. I just want to get to these guys. Alright, warty time. Warty time. Excellent. Teeth robbers on their way out, of course. <laughs> of course, Slayers. We will have to fight them eventually, of course. They are, uh, they are unbreakable. And, oh my. Yeah, let's hit these guys, yeah? Alright, come on, boy. You can get out, right? Sure can. Alright, blast him. He's fine, don't worry. And you lot start shooting at them. I mean, they are holding out here really rather well. It's, uh, rather surprising. And then, I mean, you know. His long beards and iron breakers and things. It's, it's the sort of folks that tend to do quite well. Now, this is terrifying. If they get a good shot in with, like, the iron drakes, for instance, into here, they could get, like, a thousand kills all at once. <laughs> oh, no, you tripped. Aw. And, uh, oh, my God, you can use rock bottom. I forgot about that. So this ability they've got, rock bottom, it lets them use their own body parts as ammunition. It's very funny. Just as a concept, it's it's fantastic. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, you know what? Just go for it. Go go try and kill him. You got your bonus versus infantry. And yep, that's all going well. Okay, let's pull you guys out of the fight. Let's shoot these guys with some missiles. Yeah, we are actually doing quite well shooting, uh, killing these guys with nasty scalpers. Better than I thought we would. Hang on. Oh, you... That wasn't doing anything. Are you going to shoot? Oh, you stood right there. Okay, good, he is doing it. Mostly hit her own guys. <laughs> Sounds about right. Okay, charge at the back. That was a good hit. That was a good hit. Alright, move back. Okay, get out of there. And here come the doggos. Row. I mean, these doggos are so flimsy. 
that this is like, you know, basically suicide. But it's also fine, because, you know, we've got to kill him eventually. He actually killed most of them. Yeah, that was Gommel. Only four left. Three left. I saw him maybe counting down. More than that. Two left. They're very stubborn, Slayers. Well, all dwarves are quite stubborn. But they're also all dead. Good news. Good news. Decisive victory. Alright. Very, very nice. That is their last full stack, I believe. Okay, let's go with eating the captives. Captives are delicious. Okay, shroom gatherer. Marvellous. So, you mug, let's get you... Uh, what do we actually want? So, it's really, really just goblins. We've already got that upgraded, which doesn't really leave us anything else that needs upgrading. So, let's go ahead and get itchy nuisance. So we can lower the enemy's stats with the odd spell. And Azrol. Let's see. You have, uh, you've got a load of Goblin Wolf Riders, so actually getting Riders upgraded might be fun. Let's do that. Brilliant. Okay, I can't push any further into this bunch, but honestly, I don't think these guys can really compete against what we've got left over here. I think we're fine. Uh, Karakazul, I can upgrade a little bit. Well, repair. I'm not even going to bother, actually. Not even going to bother. Now I need to deal with this jerk. And we've got mostly plain old gobos, but if I just throw them into the fight, I'm sure I can get enough flanking done with all of our nasty skulkers, you know? Just wondering who we should throw in first into this fight. Who's the one to instigate? I was wondering who I want to be in control of. Probably this one. So I get the Wolf Riders and more of my heroes locked down. This one does have more Nazi Skulkers that I could make use of. So maybe... Ah, screw it. I'll instigate with this one. Alright, Tricky. You run in. And uh, that will have everyone join us, right? Sure will. Yeah, good. Valiant defeat, it reckons. Uh, we... Oh my god, we have four, five Lava Arachnorok Spiders in these armies. That is stunning. And yes, I will let the uh, the AI handle it. Uh, they have that eruption ability. Yes, they do. Arachnor eruption, which is hilarious. Um, so it, it just blasts the surrounding area with flames. Uh, yeah, I think just having these guys charge in sounds marvellous. Okay, good. In fact, I want one of these under my control, maybe. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. Cool. Uh, Valiant defeat. I disagree. Let's find out. Okay. I... After, after spending all that time deciding which army to attack with, I then attacked with the wrong one. I'm smart. I got distracted, okay? By the thing I saw after I made that mistake. That's the line and I'm sticking with it. Uh, Alright. You're going to hang back. You guys are going to hang up? <laughs> hang front? I don't know, something. You're going to go up there, do you? It's annoying you can't always deploy behind people. Though, interesting to see little camp here. Whose camp is this? Maybe it's just, uh, I don't know, there's none of those classic wagons. So it can't be strictly folk. I don't know who's, who's living here. I'm sure it's not the dwarves. Anyway, let's get uh, you lot to loiter back there. You can loiter in the back. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna let them start blasting at us, I reckon. We'll just absorb the damage. I don't mind. So we don't have a huge amount of stuff uh, getting into their back line, but there's not a huge amount we need to contend with in their back line. Uh, it really is just the three units of Iron Drakes. I mean, the uh, uh, these Iron Drakes would be a problem. But yes, the Trollhammer Torpedoes I'm most scared of, as always. You know, they do kill our most vital units, and honestly, just the explosions do a lot of damage. Sure, they can kill a lot of goblins with the, the standard Iron Drakes rather than Trollhammer Torpedoes, but, um, yeah. It's just goblins. 
killing goblins is fine. Okay, so we've got some reinforcements coming quickly. Some are coming uh, a little later, it would seem. Not sure why there's such a disparity there, but uh, there seemingly is. Alright, come on, boys. Whenever you're ready. Oh, and here are the uh, lava spider riders. How cool do those look? Very cool is the answer to that. Very cool. Uh, they've also got good fire resistance, which is really nice against those iron drakes. Okay, good. Making progress. Okay. This is going to be rather exciting, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at him come. That's rather rhythmic. I like it. I mean, hearing that coming, just like, ooh. Ooh, what's this? A carnival? A carnival's coming, guys. <laughs> that is no carnival. Okay, these guys are trying to move around all sorts of nonsense. Alright, let's just get you stuck in, shall we? Gonna charge various backline nonsense. And you lot can move in now. Brilliant. Alright. You get boys. You somehow aren't grouped like I thought you were. That's a bit annoying. Okay, can you... That's more like it, sort of. It's a bit weird. And cannons firing into just the archers, which is fine. Okay, here we come. Oh, there's some terrain that I had to run around. That's okay. Oh, hello. Range is in there, too. Crafty. Most of this stuff's going to die pretty quickly, though. Okay, a lot of shots being fired. But just into goblins, so who cares? Ooh. Cheeky. Very cheeky. This is why I'm scared of the... <laughs> These ones I weren't scared of. Just Iron Drakes in general are scary. Alright, boys. Hell yes. So good. Oh, crap. Looks like they're doing alright, huh? And no, I do not want you running into them. Silly sods. Alright, warty time. Excellent. And yep, you guys are crushing it. Now let's do the Arachna option. And you. Incredible. Ah, oh, so fun. Alright, now run this way. You guys run that way. Alright, there's some slayers and things over here. They need to get dealt with. But yeah, we've completely um, torn these guys apart by the looks of it. Yep, this is going well. Going very well. Do I want to erect an eruption? Am I going to hit my own guys? Let's find out. <laughs> I sure am. <laughs> but... Apparently it's got very good armor piercing. It would seem. Did a lot of damage to those uh, those hammerers. Now this is something I definitely want to get stuck into. Another while, please. And yep, looks like we're dealing with them. Alright, in you get. Rawr! Arachna eruption! So good. So good. Oh, I love our wabbies. They really are a treat. Come on, boys. Keep on killing. So we will need to contend with those slayers, of course. God, this many arachnorock spiders. The fact that you just get these guys in an army that tags along for free, it's, um, 
yeah, war armies are very powerful. Just a very powerful mechanic with the greenskins. Absolutely adore it. Yeah, whenever you're ready, you can kill the uh, kill the slayers. Come on, come on. They're not even wearing armor, and you guys are made of fire. Just give them a big cuddle; it'll be fine. They'll get there eventually. Hey, yeah, I'm just just loitering, I guess. We got a lot of uh, wolf riders running around, cleaning things up, which is nice to see. Let's see if we can't get any more kills here. <laughs> yeah, killed another couple of them. Very fun. Okay, come on, guys. How are there still slayers in here somewhere? What is going on? There's two left. Like, guys. Look, do I need to blow everything up? No, I don't. Good. Decisive victory. All right. Got a bit of extra cash out of it, which is nice to see. Uh, mostly, I think we need to go for replenishment, though. I think we're going to need to. Okay. Going to leave them wandering around. Rather, um, you know. Or am I? Do I want to wipe them out? It is one of the free armies. So, uh, it's not like this is, this is occupying time, you know, sort of occupying uh, uh, their arbitrary numbers of armies they're allowed to field as the AI, you know. But I also don't want to go chasing. Oh, I also don't want him to come back. If these guys come and attack, so let's chase him off. By chase, I mean destroy. Uh, looks like we can wipe him out pretty easily. So there he goes. And I'm going to get more replenishment. Okay, good. Alright. You can get stuck in over here. Uh, oh, hang on. That is, yes, this is our territory. Okay, just run back this way. Stitch up. What am I going to get? Yeah. Oh my god, you don't have anything yet. Let's get to Gobbo's maxed out, that's for sure. Then I'll get a uh, better night sneaking, I suppose. Okay, good. That is great, though. All these goblins are going to perform much, much better than they were. Uh, in fact, how many slots do I have? I have quite a few. Oh, good. Disband them. Recruit them. Brilliant. Suddenly, much more capable army. That's sort of ridiculous, but it's more capable. And you were in the same position. You didn't have any buffs either. Both brand new armies. Glad they got a chance to get a fight in before they have to fight, you know, off a few stacks at a time. Uh, let's go with Elusive. I want to make sure you stay in the fight. And you can do the same, actually. Good. All right. Happy with that. So we wiped out an army over here, wiped out one over here. Uh, did some damage to Vlad, which is, you know, it's something. That's something. It works, exactly. Um, this army isn't looking particularly exciting yet. Uh, can I contend with the likes of this nonsense? Never. Oh, alright, well. Not sure I should believe him, but... Maybe I'll have to. Right, let's get some Night Goblins, finally. And I know, Nazi Skulkers would be better than Night Goblins in, in every circumstance, but it, still, I want some Night Goblins. Okay. God, this is such a problem. We got Dreicher here. A very annoying army there. Okay, Grom Peak. You have upgrades. More money. That's a good idea. And we can also make spider riders and wolf riders cheaper. That is not going to do much. But I don't care. It'll do something eventually. Uh, that also puts up hero recruit rank right oh and lord recruit rank faction wide so we do actually want to build some of these uh silver pinnacle i could upgrade that silver pinnacle's up here that is safe for now it is safe for now uh this spot as well i can build skeleton's watchtower try and keep that going for a little longer uh urkelaz uh that's for black orcs that's pointless don't need that and can build a squig building? 
Oh, no, I need gobbos here, don't I? Yeah, so get gobbos up here. Cool. Okay, we are not making much money right now. Really do need to take this back. We still have 19 turns on the wild though. We are still very early in the, uh, you know, war time. <laughs> Does that make any sense? The Wati has just begun. Let's go with that. Brilliant. Uh, right, you guys stay where you are. I think these guys may attack us. Do I want to jump into here, or should I stay outside? I feel if I if I garrison, then they will go to attack uh, Karakazul with one army, and then another army will attack what's outside, and everyone will have to fight the outside army while I'm stuck in there. Even though the army keeping me stuck in here is fighting in a battle. The reinforcements are weird. Anyway. I think that's it for the turn. I, oh, more money. Let's see if we can get more money out of this place. Uh, and you. Wait, hang on, is that Iron Rock? Ooh, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. That is not going to go to plan. This, this is going to do horrible things to our bones. Uh, so yeah, we have to wait for that. Hopefully these two can come and join them soon. We've also got this to deal with and potentially a lot more armies on their way. So that's a problem. We do also have this issue, don't we? Do I want this army uh, to come and fight Thorgrim now or later? What level are you? Only level two? Oh, okay, that sucks. We do need more then. We are going to need to wait a couple more turns. So that'll do. It'll have to do. Okay. Spinny back, stabber. He's not moved yet. I still need to work out where I'm putting him. That's that's the big thing right now. Do I come to the defense of these guys? Do I set up an ambush over here? I think just being over here generally might help. But if I intercept any of these armies, can I wipe them out? And the answer is probably not with this army, honestly. Probably not. So we do have all the bonus versus infantry on these guys. So pretty huge melee attack. And then they do get those ridiculous bonuses as well. So maybe, just maybe I can handle an army in an intercept battle. But I don't like my odds. An ambush, maybe. An ambush, maybe. Let's see if I can set up an ambush over here. I do really want to handle this nonsense. But with so many armies coming from this way... You know what? Screw it. I'll let them take over some territory. There's nothing here except Drakenhof that I care about. I know I just wasted some movement. I, I don't care. We're going to head off this way. Okay, we're going to head off over here. You're going to stay there for a turn just to make sure this stuff gets dealt with. Um, but yeah, we're going to we're gonna wipe out Kadak Kadrin so there's just one less faction. Fewer factions means fewer stacks. It's that simple. Doesn't matter if the same amount of territory, doesn't mean matter if our enemies gain more territory, if they have fewer allies, that's less stacks. Because um, there's always, there's always going to be a bare minimum of, uh, you know, amount of armies that any faction is going to field. So even if they just have the one settlement, they'll have a stack and a half that we have to contend with. So we'll wipe these guys out. Then we'll go back for the rest. Okay. Building upgrade available. Eshen. You know, I think I will try and upgrade that. We'll see if we can squeak out an upgrade. This stuff I'm leaving until the area settles a bit. Oh, perfect. Throat wants peace. Yeah, I'm totally happy with that. It looks like he's very busy up here, I'd wager. He does seem to be at war with everyone and their mum, so... Yeah, their mum beating Zardy and Akatami, I've decided. Okay, yeah, let's accept it. And Iron Rock has been attacked, of course. I mean, inevitable, right? And Karazakarak is attacking Karagdron as well. Again, there's really no hope. So that's two more settlements taken. <laughs> Three more settlements taken. Karakazgal. Yep, hang on, wait. Seriously? Is the other guy not in range? Are you joking? What the hell? Oh, wait, no, this is the other one. This is Thorax. I was thinking this was, um... Karakazul. No, it's Karakazgal. Okay, so it's annoying. Like, we had Skarsnik really close by. Uh, I think we're going to try and fight this. I think we sort of have to, don't we? 
I think we have to see if we can weaken him, because it is not a giant elite army. It's basically just dwarf warriors. So yeah, I think we're going to have to fight this. So we're going to do this at the start of the next episode. Should be something fun to do at the start of the episode. I'm looking forward to it. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.